Should you or should you not stack your helmets? Hey everybody, World War Guy here today, and today we're going to talk about should you stack your helmets when you display them or when you store them or anything like that? Is it a good idea? Will it damage your helmet? Or does it just save you space and is a great way to display your helmets? Well, let's hop into it. Here I have, what is it, six different helmets that I'm going to show you to explain why it's a good or a bad idea to stack your helmets. Now for the short answer, I don't think it's a good idea to stack your helmets. There are a few occasions where I think it's okay, but for the most part, I don't think it's a good idea. One for the obvious reason is, well, when you stack your helmets, the ones at the bottom, you're not going to see because they're being covered by another helmet. So at this point, you just have, you bought a helmet as a stand for your other helmet. That's kind of how I see it. Now, if you need to do some quick storage or you need, you're moving, you know, you want to stack some helmets, that's a different story because you might put some padding between them and, and so on, and, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's start to why I don't think it's a good idea. So if you stack your helmets, a lot of times on the inside, they're going to have things that can scratch up your helmet. So for example, if I wanted to stack my M16s here, it wouldn't be a very good idea. First of all, these guys have these lugs here, these air vent lugs, so that's already going to, this one's going to affect that one. But as we can see in this one, it has the chin strap bales here. They're going to scratch the helmet. So I'm not going to do it, but you can imagine that when I stack them, they're going to scratch each other. I'm going to end up having scratches on the very nice paint here. And of course the inside's of course the inside is gutted in here, but that doesn't mean I want to continue damaging this one. And of course, your helmet that you're stacking might be very nice inside. Or you have helmets that have liners still. So for example, we have my uh, M15 French helmets here they have the liners inside. Now these liners, they're not in the best condition. I mean, they're uh, over a hundred years old. The liners, you know, more brittle, it's dry, it can crack easily. So why would I want to put this on the helmet here as a way to display it? Not only that, but now you're putting pressure on the points that's held to the helmet. So as you can see here, the liners just held by these pegs and it's basically P uh, poked into the liner there so when I put when I put this on a helmet it's starting to put pressure on there and with time considering how old these are it could possibly rip and you're damaging the liner at that point because on these there's nothing on the inside that will necessarily damage your other helmet but you'll be damaging the liner this one you can see it's not in the best condition if I put this on the helmet, if I stack it, these parts could easily tear. I mean, I could probably tear it right now if I wanted to. So why would I stack it, increasing the chance of destroying or damaging the liner? But let's say you have a helmet with a very nice liner that's in very good condition and then it's not brittle at all, such as this Hungarian M70 here. Should you still stack it? Well you have a better chance at stacking it without damaging it. You can get away with it, but I still don't recommend it because with time, you know, the, the idea of collecting is to preserve these things so that future generations can, can appreciate them. So why would, I pre why would I commence the damaging of them by stacking them? Sure, I mean, this liner, you can get away with it because the way it's formed, these pads are just pressed against the helmet and you won't be damaging the sweatband too much. But still, I will still be adding pressure to the liner when it's unnecessary. But what if I have a helmet that has no liner and nothing on the inside that can scratch another helmet? So I have my Hungarian helmet here and I put this M1 helmet on there. Well, you got me there. It's not gonna damage the Hungarian helmet. And for that, I would say is the only appropriate reason or appropriate time to stack your helmets is when it, this helmet will not damage the helmet you're stacking with. But then you go into the idea of like, why would you stack it? Because now you're hiding the helmet and you won't be able to see the one that's under this one. As you can see, I have it stacked here and you can't really see the Hungarian helmet at the bottom. You can't see its, uh, its fancy shape and the M1 helmet doesn't stack too well, and if you stack an M1 helmet on another M1 helmet, well, you're just hiding the, again, you're just hiding the helmet. 
So will it damage it? No, I mean, this is not going to damage the helmet, especially if I don't touch them. They're just sitting there. But now I'm hiding the helmet, so I don't think it's a good idea. Now let's say you're moving. You're, you're changing houses, or you just want to move your items to a new room. Yes, stacking would obviously make it a lot easier to transport your items to the next destination. But at that point, you would probably put bubble wrap or some newspaper or plastic bags, something in between the helmets to act as a padding to protect the liner or, or to protect the helmet that's going to be under it from any potential harm that can scratch the paint. So I'm, if I were to transport these helmets, I would put paper or something here to protect each helmet for when I stack it. But of course, you'll be stacking the helmets just for transport. It'll be about an hour, or if you're going overseas, maybe a few hours. But you're not going to be keeping them stacked that way for, for years. So long story short, I don't think it's a good idea to stack your helmets. One, you could damage it. You could either damage the shell or the, the paint. Or if they have liners, you could damage the liner. And the whole idea of collecting is we can appreciate it and learn from these items but it's also to preserve it so that future generations can appreciate the, these items as much as we are. And then also, I don't agree with it because then you're just hiding some really cool helmets. Why buy a helmet, spend a lot of money on it, just for you to stack another helmet on top of it and have that helmet basically disappear? Now, of course, there's a lot of what ifs and there's a lot of small details we can go to. For example, if your helmets have reproduction liners, well, at that point, it's a reproduction that's up to you but then that still goes back to the idea of hiding helmets. So all in all, I think you guys understand my point in this video. I don't think it's a good idea to stack your helmets. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, write a comment, share, and subscribe. But besides that, you guys have a great day.